Dear future husband, so if you've not seen the previous video, you definitely need to watch it first because that will give you some context into what this is all about. So if you haven't go watch it, the link is down below. Um, so this is the open mic speech. Um, I'm going to be referring the pieces right here. Uh, you know, open book test, that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, so this is basically a sequel to the last week's video. All right. I pretty much did this exact same thing at the open mic, just saying. I literally went up there, took a deep breath and started. <sighs> um, so maybe I'll give you some context. So this speech actually came about because uh, my sister and I are watching our parents argue over some disagreement or another. And we really feel and felt that with our own relationships, uh, when we are in relationships, um, to have a level of uh, communication with each other as in us and a partner because uh, we feel that's a, that's a trademark of a really healthy relationship to be able to have that kind of communication level and to be able to have these conversations. So that's where this piece was born. That's where this letter to you was actually born and then I edited it for the open mic. Again, all details in the link below. Okay, so let's start. Dear future husband, Whenever I see my parents argue, I think about both of us. Not in the worst ways possible, but in the best ways possible. Because you see, until recently, I used to think of you as my Prince Charming. The guy who's going to come and save me. Uh, the person who's going to prove to me and the world that I was gay. Uh, the person who was going to love me. You know, my warts and all, demons and all, shadows and all. My therapist, you know. These were all the things I thought you were going to be. And along the way, I realized you're probably not going to be all of those things. Sure, you're still going to be my best friend. You're going to be my lover. You're going to be the love of my life. You're going to be my soulmate. You're going to be the guy I'll one day marry and have kids with. It's not a family, you know. You're not perfect, let's be honest. And neither am I. So it's ridiculous for me to expect that level of perfection from you when I don't fit it myself. Which brings me to arguments. How do two perfectly imperfect people navigate arguments and disagreements? Because let's be honest, we are going to have arguments. Maybe over small things like where are we going to eat? Like you might want Italian, I might want Indian. How do we figure that out? Or over bigger things like you know, where are we going to send our kids to study? Homeschooling, actual schooling. Are we happy with the public school system? Are we okay with the private school system? And all of those things. So. How do we create this space of trust and love and communication to talk it up? You know, to be human and own our humanness. You know, how do we figure out what's happening with the other person? Because you see, when I'm hurt, my mouth is shadier than a drag queen on RuPaul's Drag Race. I, my thumb will cut a bitch. So when I'm upset, I need my space. I just need to be alone. I need to, you know, be alone and stew and just figure it all out so that I can come back and be in a proper hit space. What about you? What do you need when you're hurt? You know, when you are upset, what exactly do you need? And how do we communicate these things? How do we let each other know when the other person is upset? Or how do we intuitively know? You know, I'm assuming, you know, over time with the length of our relationship, we will know what to do, you know? So do we need safe words like people who do BDSM? How? Like, how do we figure this out, you know? So, how can we be there for one another? How can we be the best partners to the other person? And to never go to bed angry with one another. Because let's be honest, we have an amazing life to create together. So many firsts to happen. First time having sex. First dates. Not necessarily in that order. First time, uh, first road trip, first time holding our kids. And all the adventures will go on, you know. I mean, we do have to find the best banana leaf for starters. We do have to go and find the most orgasmic desserts. Chocolatey, caramelly, cakey. All of the best parts experienced together. So how do we be the best partners and parents we can be? How can we be the parents I sometimes wish I had who talked about these things? So I look forward to having these conversations with you because I feel 
that is what will strengthen and build our relationship. These deep, 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 meaningful conversations. So I have a lot of love to give. And I think I have the space to start receiving your love. I can't wait to meet you. Love, 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 and hugs. Ganesha. So that was the piece. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was a lot more fun doing it without the pressure of speaking on an open stage uh, and worrying how people would judge me and think about me and all of those things. Um, yeah, I guess that was speak. If I can find an actual copy of the video, I'll try and get it and I'll post it. But um, yeah, look forward to talking to you soon again there. I hope you like that little conversation. A letter written a letter. I actually did it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, talk again soon. Bye.